What is up, YouTube? It's been a long time to my viewing audience. Ow. I have a couple things to say. Now, I'm not quitting Nerf just yet. Um... I have a couple things to say. There's some things I need to sell. Because I have 68 Nerf guns and I don't even look at some of them. Which, I mean... I mean, it's kind of, like, there's, there's there's just some that I don't need, considering the fact that, uh, like, I don't even use them. Uh, contact me in a message if you want to buy some. I will make a video of the stuff I am selling. I'm not selling everything, I'm just selling some stuff. Uh, I'm gonna make an eBay account, and it looks like there's no clip in this. That is where you are very, very wrong. Mini clip. Now, I had the idea... Because I play airsoft and the sniper rifles usually, they uh, they have smaller clips that just fit completely inside the gun. So I thought, hey, there's snipers for Nerf. If a sniper would go up close range and shoot people, hey, that doesn't matter. Uh, but I thought, why not make a clip for them? Uh, you could squeeze six darts. It holds five perfectly, but you could squeeze six darts into it. I'm going to make a good... 12 of these, then I'm going to sell them, uh, probably for 7 a piece with darts, because it's like, just about 12, 14 dollars for two clips in the stores with darts, plus the mod, because if you're too lazy to do it, which I'll probably show you how to do it, because pretty much all you need to do is, uh, the plastic's drying for the bottom of this one. And I don't want to take the time to run upstairs and get a new another one that's already done. But pretty much, you just take yourself a normal clip, you unscrew it, and you saw it down to the line right here on this little crease. And you saw it down. And uh, you do it each side because you want to be careful that you do not cut the spring wire or type thing inside of this. I don't think you would call it a spring, but it's what makes it go up and down. Then you're going to need to melt plastic down to make the bottom. Which, I mean, what I did, is I just, uh, I just took a part of this plastic and used it for the bottom. Because I'm too lazy to just mold something. But other than that, it worked. It worked perfectly. You could squeeze six darts into it. Like you couldn't put it in... Well, you couldn't put it in like this because the like it would literally it wouldn't work. You'd have to pull the bolt back and then push it forward for six darts. But if it had five darts, but if this had five darts in it, it would uh it would fit in there just fine. But it's a good idea, and I'll be selling those probably packages. I don't know. I might. I'll have to think about it. But, uh, other than that, yeah, I have guns to sell. Uh, I'm, I, and, by the way, I mean, I'm not going to do Airsoft videos. Considering I play Airsoft, I have a fun time with Airsoft. I'm part of a team. Uh, we're professional. Uh, we do a lot of stuff. But, I mean, this is, this is, uh, Airsoft are not toys. And you guys are, my viewing audience consists of the age range from 7 to about 14 years old. Maybe 13. Like, it's very rare for a 14-year-old to watch something with Nerf related. Unless you're me, or you, you and I in 13, or something like that. But, these are toys, and they're, they were childhood happiness for me. And I'm not going to leave them in the dirt. Not all of them, anyways. So, I mean, I mean, it's, it's, you know, I'm not gonna leave them behind. There's just some stuff I need to sell. Just some, just a couple things. And I will sell the guns with or without paint jobs. I can just sell it to you, like, in the normal colors, or I can sell it to you in a black paint job, really nice looking, or I can tell you, sell it to you in a, uh, metallic rust. Which, that's what metallic rust looks like. It's kind of a gritty Gears of War look to it. Uh, I'm not gonna paint the orange tip, because it is a toy, and it's not supposed to be mispresented as a real firearm. Even though what kind of gun looks like this, am I right? But, I mean, it's it's by law, if it's a toy, you need an orange tip on it. Because at first glance, without an orange tip, I mean, a policeman, if they're raiding your house for some reason, and you're just sitting in the living room with this, 
and they see you with it, they're they're just immediately they're just immediately gonna open fire, and that's bad. That's really bad. But yeah, it's a toy, so I'm gonna leave the orange tips on them. You could paint them, but I'm not. I'm not gonna sell anything without an orange tip if it's a toy. Airsoft guns are technically toys, and they're just, they're, they're they're replicas of real guns. And I would still never sell it without an orange tip. Not in the USA, anyways, because we. In the USA, we have orange tip laws. In Australia or Canada, I'm not sure. Sure, I'm not or Russia, I'm not so sure about that. But yeah, we do. But other than that, yeah, message me. I'm gonna make a video tomorrow of what guns I'm gonna I'm gonna sell. Uh, it's just gonna be a quick, you know, kind of like the inventory video, just a quick, uh, quick run through of just the guns, just showing you everything. I'm uh, probably going to sell ammo and clips. I'm going to sell modded clips, definitely. I'm not going to sell this. This is my favorite. This is my baby. Uh, long shot, no. Long strike, maybe. Long strike paint job, definitely. Because my long strike stinks. I mean, it just stinks. But yeah, uh, if you want me to stick with Nerf, I'm still going to stick with Nerf. If you want me to actually move on to Airsoft, because I mean, I, I, I'm old. I'm old. I may not look like it, but I am old. And, uh, I'm an old person compared to you guys. You guys are still kids. You're supposed to have fun. And this is fun. Ow! Ow. But, yeah. I mean, it's just, uh, yeah, if you want me to move on to that stuff, I can. Because, you know, it's, it's quite important to me because I play it as sort of a, uh, simulation. To what would it be like in real war because we do a lot of simulations but all I'm saying is I mean it's not quite for my viewing audience for airsoft guns that's why I'm not doing it because my viewing audience is nerf and that's what counts this is a childhood favorite of mine I'm not gonna leave most of them hanging I'm gonna sell some because just I don't need that many I just don't uh, and William and William TV, uh, we are still talking to actors and actresses. Uh, we will hopefully shoot the first episode in the next month and get it up in a couple months. Maybe. I don't know. But I'm still helping with it because it's fun. But other than that, put in the comment section below, what guns do you want to buy? Would you buy the uh, mini clip mod? Do you want to know how to do it? How do you like my hair? And, uh, other than that, uh, yeah, so, uh, this is, uh, Wilson signing off, and hopefully I'll do some more Nerf stuff in the future, but, yeah, I'm not going to do Airsoft videos unless you absolutely, until, unless my entire viewing audience wants me to, just because. Just because, I mean, it's a, this is a Nerf channel. And if you want me to switch, I will, but I'm still going to do Nerf. So, like I said, Wilson, signing off. Have a great day. Gazoon tight. Adios. Goodbye.